Hi everyone! We have a change of scenery, change of camera, all that good stuff. Um, I have been wanting a digital, new digital camera, uh, Canon, for quite some time and the agreement with my husband, which it's not like he said I couldn't get one before, but my way of justifying it was um, if we got pregnant, I wanted a good camera for the baby. So I said that once we were pregnant, you know, I'd look at cameras. Well, I found the one that I wanted a while ago, but I'm the one who didn't want to spend the money on it. But um, I had a, a good doll sale, so I figured it's for my business too. I may as well do it now and get used to it. So I am coming to you live and in person, not... I don't know what else I would be, but um, yeah. And I'm shooting in what is now Remington's room, but will be the baby's room. And I figured I'd give you a little tour of it, how it looks now, and what it's going to look like. I'll kind of tell you if we're still here, because we're hoping to move. But um, all that said, I am 24 and a half weeks pregnant now, and apparently... My little girl likes that because she's kicking away. She has been super duper active, like way active, just all over the place. Um, at night, like I'll even wake up and she's moving around and then I can't get back to sleep. But I haven't been sleeping all that great anyways. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything super exciting or new. I feel like I say that every week, but this week especially, other than her movements, are definitely very pronounced. I know I said that last week, but they're s even more so this week. Um, I think after my last video, it was like the very next day, I started feeling bigger movements. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday, so I'm happy about that. So next week I'll have at least something to talk about. I'm a little nervous for how much weight I've gained. I've never been one to obsess over numbers and weight and all that, but um, I just got done doing my 24 week belly shots and I feel huge in them. I think I look more like 30 weeks instead of 24, so that <laughs> makes me nervous. And it's it's like the careful what you wish for kind of thing because in the beginning of the pregnancy it was, I want to look pregnant, I, I want to show, and even just a few weeks ago. I was hoping to look actually pregnant rather than just chubby. Well, I feel like I've gone f like full out pregnancy and I've still got a lot of time to go. Clint even came home yesterday, I think it was yesterday, and said, wow, you just seem to get bigger every day. <laughs> I, I took it as a good thing, but really, I guess, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Like, who wants to really hear that? But. It was kind of funny that he actually noticed, um, yeah, it, it was, it was a moment anyways, um, so yeah, I'm feeling her, I think she's still across my, my belly sideways, uh, I keep feeling hard pieces and I'm trying to figure out what they are, if it's a foot, if it's a knee, a leg. I swore I felt it was either a spine or a leg or something coming across my belly last night. Um, it was really hard and long. Okay, that sounded so bad, but yeah. Um, I guess my mind maybe was the only place that went in the gutter there, but that just was so not, not what I meant whatsoever, but you know, it was just this, it was a very distinct something, just I could feel it. So, um, yeah, I'm rambling and I don't know how well this is taping and I don't want to make it super long. So I'm going to do a belly shot, give you a tour and be done for this week's vlog because it's not much different from last week. So, okay, here's my huge humongous belly from the front. The side is getting harder to find shirts that cover it. I'm realizing I probably walked through the grocery store with quite a bit of it, a little piece of it hanging. No, that's right, I wore them up today so that I wouldn't show my belly. So you're probably seeing underwear now. 
But here it is, 24 and a half weeks. I feel like compared to other 24 ladies, it's big. Okay, so now, now let's, okay, zoom out. This, like I said, is Remington's room, and sorry if this is really awkward, but it's still on a tripod, I didn't feel like taking it off, so. Um, that's the crib we will be using, it's the kind of like transitional all-in-one, so he's in the toddler bed stage of it. Um, I think we're going to paint it because, let's see if you can see this. Remington did that to it as a baby. He used it as a teething toy. So, um, when you put him down for a nap, he would chew, mainly, on that side. This side has some damage as well. But I was thinking about doing white. So, as you can see, the top of the half over the beadboard is blue. I want to paint that kind of a low tan, a light tan color. And then we're going to do pink and brown, chocolate brown like dots, and probably with some yellow because as you can see, lots of ducks everywhere. I might try to downsize on some of the duck stuff because I've got so much of it. Um, and it's kind of taken over, but I've been obsessed with duckies for years. So that's all of it. There's the closet. Um, that is one of his blankets. And this is the bedding that we used as for him as a baby. And we will use it for her. And hopefully incorporate some colors. Baby buys. Sorry, I'm going to take a little walk. This will be Remington's room. Has some work to be done. But I bought these diapers like a month ago and they just finally came in. Um, they're the Baby City diapers. I got, I think I've got 10 of them. For like $22 shipped, I believe. Um, got them in blue and orange and green and yellow and red. And that was the week we found out the gender, but we found out too late, so I had to pick the colors before, so I picked more neutral or even boy, because I figured it was, I would stick a girl in those colors. So, yeah. Um, I did, there's a little shirt that is around here somewhere, but I don't have it at the moment. It's a little John Deere tractor shirt. I think it says country girl on it or something. It's really cute. I feel like you're probably seeing me really close, so... I'm going to go, and I'm sorry that this video was all over the place. Hopefully next week's is better, and I have more to report. But till then, goodbye.